I knew him well. Let me tell you what he was. He was a pretty boy and a bully, rich and pampered. His men didn't trust him. He knew that. He wanted their love more than anything else to be one of the boys. Pathetic. So that when it came time for killing his own child, his own daughter, he did it like a braggart. Grinned to them as he held up the bloody knife. And they cheered for him, obligingly, slightly stunned, faintly disgusted, but relieved. It was just a girl, he thought. Still, it was his. What did Bear think about? The wind was up, and they could go forth to the bloodland. That was enough. And I watched the sails heave and creak, swollen bellies disappearing out to sea as I held her on the sand. Her warm body, new breasts tight, her fingers long and hardening, the soft head swinging, her neck open and cupped up. They say he vomited later in whatever privacy a ship bristling with soldiers affords, like a drunkard into bushes. Like the man he wants. Who cares? That is the father you weep for. Someone with a knife. His own daughter. She could have been you. How often I wished it were you he called for. How different it would have been. If he had not asked me for her. The best of me. The only perfect thing I have ever made. My oldest. My only child. Ah, uh, but then she would have been there at my place next to the butcher's block. And she would have been here and, instead of me, hating you. I would have never killed him. I killed him for hers. You see how the inevitable holds us in our hands. So here we are. My dead against your dead. My love against your love. My history against your history. In perpetuity, we wait. 